Hello there guys, my name is Fat Ninja Turtle, and today I'm going to be starting a quick series that I'm going to call This Is How I Do It. So what I'm going to do in this series is I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do it three three times maybe because I kind of like the idea of it. So I'm just going to do an edit and I'm going to like live record it and I'm going to give you guys tips as I edit it and everything. So today I'm going to do a mini edit and I'm not going to do it uh, all at once. I'm going to do it in like 10 minute portions. So today I'm going to do a mini edit and I have five clips here. You know, the old model for two, and I have a cinematic on Invasion and a cinematic on Karachi. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to use this song. And what I want to do first, so in this episode, I'll make the cinematic and I'll make it epic and everything. I'll make it epic and everything. So I'm going to uh, use where the song is starts at like 55. So I'll just give you guys a preview of that. So it's just quiet and everything. And then this is going to be the cinematic part. And then when the bass drops, it's going to be the first shot. So that sounds good. Uh, let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to be in After Effects. I'm going to import. I'm going to go desktop. I'm going to go down. Actually, first of all, I'm just going to close this up. I'm going to go to mini edit. And I'm just going to delete this, uh, this little template because I want to motion track it myself. Okay. So and just delete that. And I'm just going to go look at it. And I think everything there I want. So I'm just going to go in After Effects. Going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to go to my mini edit. And I'm going to import the whole folder. folder sorry. <clears throat> so now I have everything that I want in here. And I can import other things obviously when I need them. So it's going to take a little while to import everything. Because it's quite a few files. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this intro. I'm going to call it intro with not a capital N. I'm just going to drag the clip hive intro in there. Then clips, I'm going to drag it out. And uh, I'm going to drag these out and the song out. So now the mini edit, I can just delete the folder. I'm going to make a new comp for the song. Drag the song in. Open this comp. Make a new comp. And that's my song comp. And I'll just leave that there. I'll have this here at all times, and I'll click LL to see the waveform, and I'll just leave that. Then uh, I'm going to make a new folder called this Cinematics. And I'm going to drag the Invasion as well as the Karachi in there. And I think that's good for now. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go to the Invasion one because I want to use my first clip as this five man intervention feed, which is on Invasion as I already watched it. So I'm going to go to Invasion and I'm going to drag this mp4 file and I'm going to drag it into this new composition button. As you can tell, we have a uh, 1280 by 7, uh, 1280 by 720, 30, uh, 60 frames per second cinematic and yeah, it's pretty nice. Just one second. Uh, high performance. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's about it. And now what I'm going to do, really quickly, I'm just going to track camera. So I'll be back once it's done. It'll probably take like a few minutes, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and as you can tell now, we have all these little markers throughout the cinematic. So I'm going to find a part that I want the camera to be, because I want the text to be uh, kind of behind this little fountain. So I'm going to put the marker maybe here, somewhere on a flat surface, and then create null in camera. And then for this null, I'm actually just going to delete that. Go back to my MP4, click on the 3D camera tracker, and I'll find somewhere where I want the null to be. So, uh, I'm trying to see where that point is on. I'll just put it on this little flat thing here. Yeah, that's good. And then create null. And that's good enough for now. And I can adjust the null, obviously, if I need to. Scale it up quite a bit. And that's just like, um, I'm going to base the position of like my group one in element uh, off that. So I'm going to make a new text. So just go here to the text tool. And I'm going to type in um, the name of my edit. So I'm just going to call this edit electro to match the name of the song. Scale this down so I can see what it says. And I'm going to drag on a nice font. And I'm going to separate the letters a bit. How do I do that? No. Separate them. Oh, so many different things. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now they're separated a bit. Make a new new uh, new solid. Call this element. 
effect video copilot element and I'm going to turn off this electro layer so we don't need to see it okay and then I'm going to go halfway through and I'm going to duplicate my cinematic okay and I'm going to uh, go on the cinematic time freeze frame and then on the cinematic I'm going to delete the 3d cam tracker so it doesn't get confused and I'm going to go to the effects and presets and type in Gaussian Gaussian blur you could drag that on bring this up quite a bit yeah and that's good and yeah so we're done for that go to element uh, custom layers custom texture paps texture map sorry layer one I'm gonna make it my bottom cinematic I'm just gonna rename this actually to frozen just so I know what it is <clears throat> okay now go to custom text and maps and path layer one is gonna be electro okay now I can go to scene setup extrude the model as you can tell we have this very nice lecture text let's go to bevels I'm just gonna drag on this double down one and I'm gonna edit it quite a bit so I'm gonna make the black shiny because I don't like it when it's dark okay so I'm gonna go on a side view so I can see it better and I'm actually gonna turn my environment on so I can match it to the map and see what I like okay so it's reflecting to the map right now and I'll change this a bit so go on the bevel two, and go to reflection, turn the intensity up a bit. So now it's silvery, and it's kind of nice. And I'll give it a tint, just a tint, because uh, I'm going to use a nice blue. I'm going to give it a tint of blue like that. Okay, so now it changed both of them, which is cool. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to change the shiny light one, the color. Just going to drag this cursor down to a nice blue. So I think that's good. I think that, that looks pretty nice. Okay. So we have my electro, te electro te text, and I'm going to set it on group one. And I might bring something else in to add some cool effects to it. So I'm just going to search for something cool. I might use the ring thing. Ring fin. I don't know why. That always messes me up. I might use that again because that looked pretty cool last time. Or I might use some spheres. That would be cool as well. Hmm. What do you guys want me to do? I know you guys can't really leave an opinion right now. But, okay, I'm going to use the ring. No, no. Yeah, I'm going to use the ring. And I'll use spheres just going around uh, like crazy. So for this ring, I'm just going to go to materials, pro shaders, uh, metal. And I'm just going to drag on a random silver. And, yeah, we got a ring. Okay. And on this silver, on the ring, I'm just going to go to group 2. And I'm going to leave it like that. <clears throat> I think that's good. Yeah, we're done for that. Okay, so now let's wait for this to load up. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so now I can. I found the text. It's right here. And the ring is already kind of around it. So I'm going to hit P on my track null. Go to element. Go to group 1. Particle replicator. And I'm going to adjust the Z position, and that's it. So I'm going to change this to 1700. Okay. And I'm just going to and I'll adjust the X and Y in a second. But first of all, I want to make it much bigger. Much bigger. That's nice. Okay. So now I'll go through, and I have this. And that looks pretty cool. I like the angle it's on. Because then when I come to the side here, it's uh, rotated, and it looks pretty sweet. I'm actually going to rotate it a bit more. So, Y rotation, right? Yeah. Okay, so now if I go here, go all the way to the end, it's on a complete rotation, and it looks pretty sweet. Okay, so that's good. Um, I'm actually going to go to copy-paste group. I'm going to copy this. Uh, close group one for a second. Go to group two, and copy-paste. I'm going to paste it. So now the ring is the same position. Go to pop particle uh, look on the ring, and I'll make this bigger. Is that good? Go to particle replicator, change it up a bit. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do right now is go to seed and setup. I'm gonna go in the ring and I'm gonna make it group two and group three. And I'll show you why I'm gonna do that in a second. But I'm just gonna wait for it to load up again. So I'm gonna have two rings, but I'm gonna be able to change them instead of having like two uh, separate ring objects in element scene setup, it's just set as the same group twice. It's two different groups, whatever. It's hard to explain, but you'll understand.
So I'm just going to go to copy paste group on the ring group 2. Go to group 3, copy paste, I'm going to paste it. So now they're on top of each other completely. Uh, for group 3, I'm going to make the ring a bit bigger. Okay. Now for rotation, I'm going to go to the begin. I'm going to rotate this. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay. Rotate that. And what does this one do? I don't want to change that. Okay. Rotate that one and then go to group two. Rotation. Close that up. I'm going to rotate this one. Keyframe that. And then go to the end. That looks pretty sweet, just like that, actually. I think I might leave it like that. That looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. That's really cool. So I'm just going to take off these keyframes so After Effects doesn't have to render it thinking that something's going to happen. Because even like that, that just looks awesome. So group one, I'm just going to make the text animate a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So go to Particle Look, uh, Multi-Object, Enable that hoe. Uh, keyframe the random rotation, all the displacements, and scatterize. Okay, and now hit you. I'm going to go over here, here, and I'm just going to keyframe all of these. Go back, and I'm just going to adjust them ever so slightly. So, like, that's good. No, I'm not going to adjust that one. Uh, that one, tiny bit. That one. Okay, that's good. Just adjusting them ever so slightly. Okay, so now if I just hit you. I'm at, I can actually just uh, unkeyframe the zero one. So I'll just hit you again to get have just these. Okay, I hate when it does this. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to easy, easy these keyframes. Okay, so I'm going to hit right, uh, right click keyframe system easy ease. But if, since if you click, if you guys can click F9, if I click F9, it pauses my Camtasia like it just did uh, just then. So don't click F9 if you're recording with Camtasia. It will make it uh, stop. Okay, so I'm recording now, right? Okay, yeah. So now I have this. They're pretty nice and everything. And I'm just going to get the keyframes like right here. And I'm just going to drag them over. So now it's like boom and slow and awesome. Okay, so it's looking pretty sweet so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new adjustment layer. I'm going to call this uh, Light Rays. Cap lock, cap, caps lock, whatever. CC light rays, drag that on. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my element. And when it gets to this keyframe, I'm going to trim this. Could have put the light rays to there. Like that. Keyframe the uh, center. Make the radius a bit bigger. Well, not that much. I'll just bring it to 60. That's good. Intensity to 150. I don't want it too noticeable, but I want it to be there, you know? And round, I'm going to leave it to that. And it looks good. I'm going to go over to about here. Go back on here. And bring this over to the end. So now if we go through. Just going through this. Going through the text and shining. It looks awesome. And then I can just have like one keyframe there oopsies I don't know what I did one keyframe there and then I'll then I'll bring it to the sky where is my little center thing and I'll just bring it to the sky so it acts like it just glitched there or whatever and I'm actually gonna keyframe the cent actually no look like that okay so that's good so it goes across and boom it's in the sky so that's nice and everything um, and I'm just going to make a new adjustment layer called this CC. Drag on looks. <clears throat> okay, go to magical looks, edit the CC, whatever. I'm just going to drag on a preset and I will edit it later because you guys don't want to watch me edit a preset. That's kind of boring. Uh, something that looks nice. That that one's pretty cool, but I want like something, 
something intense. You know what? That that's good for now. So that's good. And I think that's gonna be about it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. And uh, I will continue with this series soon. And I'm just gonna call this "This Is How I Do It." And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys sometime soon. Bye.